What's up, Wolfpack Entertainment Nation? What's up? This is the 10 We're year here. anniversary. We're all still here. Okay. We're still alive. Save for Thank a couple you. people, they're still alive, but they might as well be dead to us because they're not here. So yeah, I agree. We're gonna do. We're gonna do uh, <laughs> as uh, yeah. Wingman and I talked about uh, in our last news video how we were gonna put together this 10 year anniversary special, if you will, for Wolfpack Entertainment because on January 23rd of 2009, that was when Batman: The Recession hit the internet and we created our first ever Wolfpack Entertainment film. So, I wanted to get most of the people that are still around, get everybody together for a 10 year anniversary, and we're just going to talk all things Wolfpack Entertainment, and we're also going to announce our next movie for this year, 2019, our big anniversary movie that I'm excited about, these guys are I excited about. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask these guys some questions about uh, Wolfpack Entertainment, what do they want to see, what was some of their favorite movies, characters, different stuff like that, so we can just go down memory lane, which is Wolfpack Entertainment, memory lane. Ah, uh, okay, so. Yeah, I just don't have my nostalgia. And you don't have to be a Kryptonian. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to talk, uh, I'm just going to go this way with, with it, so first question I'm going to ask is to Stanley, I'm going to ask him, what is your favorite Wolfpack Entertainment movie over the last ten years. What's your favorite <laughs> Wolfpack Entertainment movie? Good question. Yeah. Well, I don't know, actually. I had fun with them. Uh, probably have to be that uh, Spider-Man Nine to Five. Spider-Man Nine to Five. Well, we're on Spider-Man Nine to Five. Let's just talk about Spider-Man Nine to Five. I almost forget making that movie. It's been so long ago. Well, that's where I made the first of you as Nick Fury with the show. Yeah, badge. that's right. He came in as as Nick Fury. Uh, the premise of that movie was, oh, Spider-Man Spider -Man had to get a job because uh, uh, all crime had been abolished because at the time everybody was telling us how great of a president uh, Barack Obama was, so whatever your political views, I don't and really Batman care. And Batman did not get his belt. Yeah, and, and Batman, yeah, <laughs> Batman didn't get a belt. So we were like playing off the whole, if, if the time of that movie came out in 2009 or whatever, it was when we were going through as a country a economic downturn and having a recession and stuff, which is how Batman the Recession got made. But yeah. Spider-Man 9 to 5, Spider-Man had to get a job, and uh, the production quality on that movie was not great, but it was funny. <laughs> and uh, so Spider-Man was basically working in a basement. Wasn't he working? Yeah, he, yep. okay, so the basement really was a basement. That was his office space. Yeah. And he had a horrible boss, which we called Tim was, Davis. Yep, yeah, but also on the front porch. Oh, yeah, the front porch. We used the front porch. That's where the Fury made his appearance. Yeah. Today. Sure. This entire house has been used every angle possible for it's been just abused. Yes, it has. Pretty close too. If and you want. a funny note on that movie, uh, Tim Davis, which was the pa character Packard played the the boss, was a combination of two bosses that I actually had had in real life. A guy named Tom Davis and a guy named Tim Draper, and they were two crappy bosses. And so we combined the two of those and, <laughs> and, made, one evil and made one evil, uh, worthless <laughs> boss. And I have since had, uh, which I, I don't, I don't work in the corporate world anymore. But I have since had a boss that was worse than both of them, uh, amazingly enough. But, but anyway, so Spider-Man Nine to Five. That's a good one. I'll put a link for that movie down in the description. That was that was Stan's favorite because that was his first appearance as Nick Nick Fury. Fury. Stan's first appearance in a Wolfpack Entertainment movie was Brutus in Batman: I in The Recession. Love his gun. <laughs> So that moves so on. He only, he only had the one gun, but he, he loved it like it was his. It was his child. Man. Yeah, it was. It was well, his child. He was the bad guy. To be guy. honest, it, I think it went beyond love of his child. <laughs> <laughs> the way he was acting with it. So. I can't help if I had a good evil psychotic on it. Will know. already told me he, he was prepared for this question. I'm going to ask Will the same question. Will, what is your favorite Wolfpack entertainment movie? Slender Man. With my Slender favorite. Man. I, I'm awesome gonna, movie. I'm going to say. Awesome movie. I'm, I might agree with Will. I've loved all the movies that we did. Oh, yeah. But I probably loved Slender Man the most. Now, it's never been released online because it was way too big of a movie to put online. It's a feature-length thriller horror that the four of us are in. And I probably love it the most because we filmed it in black and white, which was cool. Horror is my thing. Exactly. And... and the movie You're reminiscent about the old horror movies the yeah black and, white. and it turned and it out worked. it was one of those things where like it had been rewritten two or three four different times and 
I didn't think I was ever going to make that movie because everything that could possibly happen to make that movie not happen kept happening. But 2015, the stars aligned, and that was when I got everybody back to be able to act again, which was huge. And uh, we put together Slender Man, and it was it was great. One of these days, I'll put, I'll release it online. But I'm pretty sure that uh, we didn't even hint that we was doing it. No, no, because. Uh, I didn't want to f come up short for it again because I had multiple times was trying to make that movie and it even had shot stuff and, and it, it, went it just south. yeah went went sideways so bad so this time just like the product yeah the Wingman projects. and I started working on it and writing it and then we had one character in it uh, which was which was going to be Tyler's character um, and then as, as per usual people couldn't come to the movie to come film the movie so. It changed how we approached the story, but it was actually the best uh, thing that could happen to the I story. I apologize because that time I was doing uh, the drills with the IGR. Oh yeah, knows. but but you were you were there for the Slender Man. It worked yeah. out, and and that was when we got Stan back involved with stuff. And, and uh, I love it. It's awesome. I like the story. Thing. When the story changed, it actually changed for the better, and it became it became a really good movie. Is that your favorite character to play? No. What's your favorite character that you've played? when I played in the Grinch. Oh, yeah, the Christmas <laughs> special last year. Yeah, that was hysterical when we were, when we were doing the, the review Jeez, on the Grinch. Will's all three of you were actually... <laughs> yeah. We're Grinch. Yeah, we were all part of the Grinch. <laughs> and you two were actually eating a cookie on the way out. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are actually making this a little difficult for me. So now, <laughs> so now I still don't get... I, I'm, Slender Man's probably my top couple favorite because I... Like I said with Spider-Man 9 to 5, I almost forget some of the details of making it. It's been so long ago. Ken, Wingman, what is his? What is Wingman's favorite Wolfpack Entertainment movie? Well, I actually have like three or four of them in my <laughs> head right now. Like all, yeah. all There's uh, yeah, Slender Man, of course. Yeah. That's that's in the top. Yeah. Last, Last Man, Man Standing, Standing is also in the Last top. Last Man Standing, yes, yeah. Okay. That was and, good uh, yeah. Another definite one was the entire Tremendous Three series that we had like the whole on. story are you including yeah. the the tremendous fellowship as well where it yeah all, I'll, I'll include okay. that entire so thing the whole in one. Okay. so so it's three yeah um uh, man this is difficult <laughs> <laughs> i think i'll eliminate the tremendous and the whole stuff. story arc with that yeah and, and it's either Slender Man or Last Man Standing with Slender me. Man or Last Man Standing. That's I would awesome. say, speaking of Last Man Standing, because I forgot about that movie. That's, <laughs> uh, that was a, a, a convention exclusive too. Um, that was uh, an action movie, which I think I, I, I think um, I think I had planned on putting that on the YouTube channel and then just had not done that yet. So I will probably I will put that one on the YouTube yeah, exactly. channel. I actually had a lot of fun that, that, that one and Slender. Uh, Wingman plays the main villain, um, Torrento. Was that your name? Yeah, yeah, I Torrento. Torrento. Yeah, Torrento. And then Tyler's character was Riggs in that one. Yeah. Actually, he, didn't he have two he, characters he, that he played? Well, he mainly played he played Riggs, where he was he was like that that the, the fought the right hand character. man. Of yeah, the right hand man of mm -hmm. Torrento. He was like the enforcer. <laughs> now that was probably. I know I played both. Roles yeah, so yeah, you, 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 yeah. You guys played so you played a father figure plus a uh, one of the henchmen. I can't remember what all. No, yeah, Will was not, Will was in, not that in that. One. One. No, Will. That was when he was not living in Miami County. Mm. Was when we made that. One. A question, but what Dave Shuck and Dave's uh, Dave's uh, steps or son Josh Shuck was in that one. Yeah. Uh, so what about the one? Um, yes, I Greg was Night Hawk. Nighthawk. Okay. Where I was the grizzled old veteran. Yeah. <laughs> that, what, that. what happened with Nighthawk is it morphed into Last Man Standing. Okay. Because La uh, Nighthawk was some a lot of the same story arcs were in Nighthawk that ended up in Last Man Standing. Um, oh. But what happened was with Nighthawk was we ran in the, for the the first time that this happened because this has happened twice now. I broke my ankle. So I've, I've broken my ankle twice now, not during <laughs> filming. And Nighthawk. And a, a, a show with uh, Stallone called yeah, Nighthawk. Yeah, there was, yeah. And so I broke my ankle off, and then during the time of my ankle healing, which... Did took, you super good to fix it? No, okay. I just <laughs> hobbled around with a busted ankle, like I did this last year. When I, oh when I missed without going to the doctor yeah, as well. Yeah, because I'm stupid. 
but no, you're yeah. stubborn. They, <laughs> no, you're smart. Yeah. That's, that's why you're not getting along so well. Doctor. We're both stubborn. If, if, if hey, more into the one like. movie is what happened, and uh, and so what I did, I just I combined the two. And the story behind why it's called Last Man Standing is when Tyler and myself and Craig, Tyler's brother, who has not really been in any of the movies, but Tyler that's been in a lot of the movies, his brother, older brother Craig, who's actually airborne uh, with the army. Um, he, uh, he had, he and I and Tyler, when we were kids, had wrote this comic book, which I think is here somewhere. It was basically a knockoff of like Dragon Ball Z, and uh -huh. we called it Last Man Standing. And so, the Dragon Ball. One yeah, star. the Dragon Ball. So <laughs> we, what we did was, is I, I used that name for that movie because I had just to throw back to when I was a kid, and so that's what happened. That's what happened with. But when you played Torrento, that was. Uh, like you had played like some you played villains and funny stuff, but that was the first time that Wingman actually like that was where it, Wingman got his acting chops was with the character of Torrento. That was where he became an actor. He wasn't just uh, doing Wolfpack Entertainment doing a character here. That was when when Wingman became an actor with stuff. So it was like that was the transformation of Wingman. I think we all became an actor now. With and with. That were uh, both of you guys, which you, you you had done a good job with Last Man Standing and some of the other ones, but the turning point where we were like you guys really like uh, became like good, really good at what we were doing was not that you were bad before, but you could tell that that was with Slender Man. Mm -hmm. The acting job that both of these guys did with Slender Man was so good that Ken and I, when Wingman and I, when we were editing and looking at, it, I was like, I was like. Holy crap! Like they were so good at this yeah, movie, with Will. especially Will. Will blew yeah. me away because Will used to just like, like right now he's not saying a lot. He would like not even really talk in the movies very much. But then he was like, he was on it, man, and it was yeah. it was awesome. So awesome. that's well, that, not talking a lot right now because you're doing all the talking. I do, yeah, I do all the talking. That's that's I even get paid to talk. That's what I do as a living is talk. But uh, so we've got the Spider-Man Nine to Five, Slender Man, and. Last Man Standing. I probably yeah, that's what, that's what your I probably movie. as far as making the movie and how it turned out, I probably Slender Man because it was it was so hard to make and I didn't know if we'd ever make it. And then um, I still really really like Batman: The Recession because that was the first one that went online and yeah. and it was it was just I don't know it was it was such I, a good I idea. I still think I'm fifty fifty with Last Man Standing and Slender Man. Yeah, I, I mean I like both of them. Yeah. Oh, I like I, all I of them. I can't really movies. pick I do. between the two. So I, I'm, I don't. I shouldn't even have to ask this. But what's your favorite character to play? My favorite character to play. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see which one that would be. You're gonna go down the line. Yeah. Yeah. Right. <laughs> they already asked. Uh, yeah, I already asked. <clears> oh, okay. My favorite character that I actually enjoyed playing was Nick Fury in the Nick Avengers. Fury, yeah. Oh yeah, because, because the Avengers a spoof. Yeah. Yeah, because I can relate with him uh -huh. like I can relate with Wolverine and Captain America yeah but Nick Fury more so because it touches a, a lot of nerves because I have family that's been in the military so Nick Fury is my favorite character I, I play yeah and that's what I still gotta say is my favorite my favorite what is what is Wingman's favorite character to play mm. now th this will probably tie into the last question yeah which will probably be what sends it over the top between the other one yeah I was torn between my character in Slender Man yeah. and Torrento in Last Man Stand. Yeah. I think of the two, I'd have to go with Torrento. Yeah, that oh, was yeah. your best. Not not that you didn't do a good job, but that was like your best acting job because w one, it was most of the movies that we make, especially the comedies. I, I have like I have a story, and then I kind of break it down into scenes. And then oh, there's like kind of yeah, like a storyboard yeah. with a synopsis almost of that scene, kind of what we want to do, and with a few little bit of lines that I know that we want to say because they're funny. And then we kind of just let it evolve from there with what funny happens during filming and what funny comes oh. out of your mouth. And then like you've with got Tyler. Yeah. With Tyler. Yeah. Tyler was a big. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Depending on yeah, that whole sexual uh, orientation. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I that couldn't was, stay in the room for that. I was hilarious. Yeah. He, he seriously could. As soon as Tyler said it the first time, he just bust up laughing. I, was that one of our bloopers? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I had to walk. Yeah, because I did it like three times. I couldn't film it. I had to walk out of the room. I couldn't film it. Did we, did we actually get it on the fourth? fourth I think be, we, I literally said, I think in the blooper, because I was just watching this the other day when we were doing getting ready to do this anniversary thing. 
I, I think I literally said, I can't do this, I have to leave the room. And then I left, I'm pretty sure I left the whole of the room, because we were filming it on the front porch. Yeah. And so I had to leave, I had to leave the room. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this might sting a bit, depending on your sexual orientation. That was one of the funniest things I've ever heard. I think that is my funniest character that I've ever what, heard. Speaking of that, let's talk about the Tremendous Three for a second, just because I'm thinking about it. I really, really liked the original Tremendous Three, because it was all new superheroes, and it was yeah. almost like a campy, more adult like humor campy yeah batman type you know 60s batman but the funny thing with it was is like um just the outlandish characters and it was all and then it it, it just it, it's like snowballed into this trilogy <laughs> slash four movies by incorporating another the fellowship of the flake characters that like i never thought about when we started making it that's what i'm saying right now Butt sex! Yeah, that's, yeah. Yeah, that's where that started, yeah. And another reason why you're probably thinking of I, I Tremendous Three right it. now <laughs> is because of this particular shirt that oh, yeah, I'm wearing yeah, right yeah. now. Oh, yeah, never underestimate the power of stupid people in a large group. Was that, did you wear that for the first? Yes. Movie? Yeah, the first This is movie. what I based Headcase off of. When the idea, okay, we knew, speaking of Hardwire, which Will wasn't in. Haywire, were you, Haywire, not Hardwire. Yeah, Haywire, Haywire yeah. Haywire. Were you were in, were you in the, no, he wasn't in the Tremendous oh, Three movies was, yet. Was one of the other guys in the church? Well, a bunch of stuff was out behind that. Yeah. Well, that fellowship. But you were definitely you, you were, were one of the evil Jedi. Jedi. Yeah, right. you were with the ele- one of the evil Jedi. Captain Crutch. Because you had that whole. Because <laughs> your sword was actually the one that got blocked by the rum bottle carried by. Captain you know, Jack. I haven't watched Captain that Jack. like in forever. <laughs> like we're gonna have to watch that because I haven't watched that forever. But I, I, who would have thought? Like you knew you were gonna have, uh, you're gonna have velocity, bull strength, and then the scat man. Which just think about Dave's characters. Let's talk about it. Dave's not here today. He we had he's a still, bl- he's still we, in our mind. We had a blizzard, and, and what a surprise! I was jo- I was talking to w- uh, Will and Ken about this. The idea that the very first Batman movie, the very first movie we did, Batman: The Recession, was in January so in of 2009, and there was a freaking blizzard that when we filmed that movie. I remember oh. him walking down in this blizzard. Yeah. And then the Fellowship of the Flake, we filmed several like a month or so later around the Super Bowl. And it was another like blizzard, and if you watch the video, you can see like it's a lot of snow. So, oh, and I'm I'm Captain Jack Sparrow with like this like very thin costume. costume. My chest, I almost died. I thought I was gonna die. You weren't up there. wearing an undershirt. Though. No, it was bare chest, and it was like 15 <laughs> degrees. Yeah, Mary, like it was. I really thought I was gonna die. Like I'm gonna die for this movie. And uh, so here well, we are. Into your work. We're filming this this 10 year anniversary, and there's a freaking blizzard outside. We've got like six <laughs> inches of snow out here. Well, that's why I have to catch some uh, other video and didn't put it in yeah. there, like, right up here. Yeah, so they so can actually see snow. real time or something Yeah, like that. it's just ridiculous. But, so, <laughs> but where I was I going with that? I don't even know. There, oh, Dave couldn't make it because of this blizzard. He can't He can't drive his car. He's got a little car. He can't drive in the snow. But think about Dave's characters I want to talk a about. matchbox yeah. star? Yeah, probably. <laughs> probably a radio yeah. flyer. Wagon hey, but but Dave's true. characters, he played Scatman. He started out as uh, Butler Dave. He was a homeless guy yep, that, that Batman, went, became Batman's Batman, Batman. butler because he, he couldn't he didn't get a bailout and all that. Yeah. And then not. he becomes Scatman. Well and then he was also a janitor in the Spider Man nine to five too. Remember he was a janitor? He got he got attacked by the Al Qaeda guy. He was the, yeah. he had the plastic bag on his head, and Spider Man had to save him from the Al Qaeda. Oh, about that. Which was the most <laughs> racist thing we've ever done because it was literally packard with a fake beard and a towel on his head. <laughs> Don't worry, we're not political. No, we're not. I just make fun of everything. So, which I mean, you know what? Humor. If you can't laugh it's at yourself, humor. then and you can't then laugh at something, then, then yeah, you yeah. got problems. So you live a miserable life. So then, Very but Dave life. played. But Dave played a homeless butler, and then he played. He also played a homeless guy that became a butler that became Batman. Yeah. And he was also a janitor. Commissioner Gordon, I think I was uh, Commissioner Gordon. Did he, play, did he play with the Commissioner Gordon? I don't know, but... I don't oh, you did. I, yeah, 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 you did. I know, I, there's a couple of them, I don't remember the other ones, but I still like all the wolf pack. Cause Dave, Dave ended up being totally just Scatman. And the reason he became Scatman was because we wanted Dave to... He used to teach line dancing, so we had him in the credits line dancing to Scatman. The music, like and that's Scatman what and John. brought about the whole belt buckle thing. Right? Yeah, that's what we would do, he would do that... Belly, that belly dance thing he does, <laughs> and so then he became Scatman, and then, you know, obviously, we're so basically we're basically calling animal dropping man, is <laughs> when his name is Scatman. I mean, 
he's he's crap, man. But so if he plays something else in these movies, I have been talking about making him a, a homeless guy who lives in a sewer. I'm a jerk. No wonder Dave's not here. I'm making him be all these homeless. When we did Man Child Returns, we did actually reference Scatman. Yeah, we did. We did reference Scatman, and poor Dave playing <laughs> Scatman. But he uh, just think about that. But your character is what's ridiculous because it was supposed to be just a. a your your character with headcase was just going to be like a henchman for the buffoon, which was Ricky, the <laughs> lady, who he moved to Cleveland, so he lives in Cleveland now. Um, but uh, a lot of people have moved, you know, and we, we've all kind of stayed in the same area. I even move, will move for quite a while. I moved for quite a while, but at one point oh, I did. Yeah, he moved, but you know what, Miami County, back. we just always end up coming back. This is yeah. home, so um, it's so here we are. It's our com uh, camaraderie ship. Yeah. And so here we are, still making stuff. But yeah, like, uh, and now I'm like the, just two, three blocks away from yeah, you. Yeah, he's just down the road, which is great. And a little further he's down, just a couple now, yeah, yep. and he's just yep. a couple. Yeah, he's just across the tracks over here. Yeah, it worked out pretty good. <coughs> but uh, your whole, you ended up being head case, and then you, then you became head case with like superpowers basically because you had the the chip that was inserted into your rectum. <laughs> and then Did you wreck them? <laughs> and then and then you returned you killed him. <laughs> and then you returned as as head case, like leading the way with your own henchman, which was Roy Rage, which was Andy Fitzgerald. Samurai which, Stan wasn't that well, one. And he that was the first appearance of Samurai Stan. And then Andy lives over in Lafayette. Um, and so we we just the whole like the, some of those characters, I just the the fact that like they just, how did they become what they became? Like, it's just blows it's called, my mind. It's called people having the same dreams as the person that created Wolfpack well, Entertainment. And, and the funny entertainment, thing... Entertainment, because uh, it's, it's a hard world out there. Yeah, it will... And like that helps people realize it's not all sad. It's doom and gloom, yeah. And I, and I, I, I think that's how we came know. up with Shinobi Ninja. Um, yeah, Ninja Ninja. <laughs> yeah, Shinobi Ninja, which literally translates Ninja Ninja. ninja. <laughs> Although I did kick myself because as we were talking about Shinobi Ninja the other night, I was like, man, I, I shouldn't have named you, since there was Samurai Stan, I shouldn't have named you Shinobi Ninja. I should have named him Karate Ken. Karate <laughs> Ken. <laughs> and that was work. <laughs> Karate Kid. Maybe a new character. He's the Karate Kid. Oh, the Karate Kid. Instead of the Karate Kid, Karate Kid. Ken. He's got some sagely old Mr. Miyagi. Oh, he's going to really put in the Karate Kid. X out Kid and put Ken. Ken, Karate Kid. <laughs> he's getting picked on by people at work as an adult. And he has to kick their tail. <laughs> and it's all like these little like four foot people. <laughs> uh, oh. Somehow it always goes back to Dave. You know what? Yeah. You know what, yeah, yeah. you know what the funny thing is? This is literally how these movies get made. Like I just yeah. start joking about stuff and it turns into... Hey. He's not joking about that. There could end up being a Karate Kid movie. The Legend of Karate Karate Kid. That's like uh, the de the Legend of the what was it? Legend, legend of the Dungeon Legend Master. of the Legendary Dungeon Master. Yeah. So <laughs> where where he was we we were always making fun of the idea of like not playing D and D the right way and people just get just like earn an XP for not doing it or get treasures and stuff. So we had this whole idea with that to have like <laughs> this this guy that's stealing other people's gamers and Yeah, Krusk. That Krusk. Asshole. Yeah, Krusk. It was named Krusk. <laughs> I couldn't remember the name of it. That asshole. So that's what happens. I write these things and then I make them and then then I don't look at them and then I forget like some of the stuff with it. So but something that definitely uh, ha had a D and D vibe to it. Yeah. Was Epic Adventure. Yeah, Epic Adventure. That was, that, was, that was awesome. Yeah. Which, you uh, were the rogue. Yeah. You were the ranger, ranger and I was the dungeon master. <laughs> and Andy was Roid Rage. No, he wasn't Roid Rage. He, <laughs> was, he <laughs> looked <laughs> like Roid Rage, but he was the evil sorcerer for this kidnapped Amber. Kidnapped Amber. Yeah, Amber's best acting job that's not saying a whole lot. But <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was One lesbian. Yeah, yeah, yeah lesbian. <laughs> my my <laughs> favorite part of that particular movie mm -hmm. was the big poof at the oh, end. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, the fire. Oh, yeah. yeah. Started uh, 
doing stuff with the lights and everything. Now I've got light stands and LED lights and all this other stuff. We don't have to oh. mess with that. Yeah, and of course, you got a remote for your camera. Yeah, now, a remote for the camera. Awesome. So a bunch of Jerry, like, all right, why don't you over here? Yeah. Like, just oh, remember, don't hit the word that says power because I turn it off. Oh, we need to zoom in. <laughs> you know what? It was really cool about that movie, uh, Epic Adventure, was the fact that that was what? The three of. Uh, wingman, me and Stan. Yep. And then there's five of us. Andy, yeah, Andy, and then Amber. In it, just That's briefly. It. And we filmed at. Uh, we we are blessed where we're at. Like we have um, Miami County, the area that we're at. We have a reservoir uh -huh. that's just a couple of miles to the east of us. That is, it's amazing. It's a huge reservoir. You can boat and ski and fish. There's a big spillway. Uh, Will and I go fish there quite often. And oh, yeah. um, there's, there's a, a hiking trail. Yeah, too. hiking yeah. trails, and it's there's a uh, which I'd like to do some videos. And we were talking about doing a, a series of cryptid detectives where we're doing legends and stuff in Indiana, and especially in our and area. Hence the book right there. Yeah, the legends, the hauntings of uh, Indiana. What's it say? Hauntings of Hoosier, haunted Hoosier trails. Yeah. No, oh, I remember that. That one, one right there, people. We're there's a there's a trail that a lot of people we walk called Lost Sisters Trail. Yeah. Over there, just useless knowledge we have, but. It's from Francis Slocum, who was a, a, a historical figure that was a girl that was kidnapped by Native Americans, the Miami Indian tribe, and she ended up here in Miami County, and she married, this is back in like the 1800s, ended up marrying the Miami Indian chief, and became the chiefess basically, and, and they changed her name to Maconaqua, which we have a high school named uh, Maconaqua. Another thing, the Braves, uh, yeah. the uh, historical thing, they've got a uh, lady... Parker's last name, Cynthia Parker. Okay. Was captured captured by the Comanches. Yeah. And they called her the White Comanche. Yeah. Cause I, I'm like, Ooh. Where was this at? Was that here or where? I don't know, oh, but I've seen it when I went to the library, tried to yeah. check out some stuff, and I seen it, I'm like, oh, interesting. Yeah. Similar story like that. Yeah. Because uh. the Native Americans, they would take would raid and take women because yeah. the, their tribes were really small because most of the braids and stuff didn't have time, and the women would follow. She was called the the White Comanche. White Comanche. I think. I'm looking it up. That's why I'm. Yeah. The way that I'm it's making called, myself a note Comanche so that I can go ahead and Google Parker. that. Yeah. The yeah. White Comanche. I think, I think her, her name. I think her name. Cynthia Ann Parker. I think her name was. Okay. She Cynthia was Ann. She was. But now that I actually think about it, we have three main schools in our area. We have the Braves, the Warriors. And the tigers. And the tigers. And the tigers, yeah. Now, see, my dog, that's right. I, you're a Peru guy. Yeah. You're a. Yeah, oh, Peru's the. Uh, you two are both tigers. Now, you graduated in where? Washington State? Is yep. that where you live? And so, yeah, he's. he's He graduated out of state. And then I, I, was a, I was a warrior. I was a North Miami, North Miami warrior. My daughter is now out there, and she gets to hear all the time from all the teachers and stuff. About How her dad was... Her, her dad was basically King Kong when it came to <laughs> sports and stuff. And who there. says people of different backgrounds can't get along? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> We're getting along just fine. Yeah, I, yeah. My phone just never stops blowing up. I, got, I go to send a mat. I go to put down a note and then my phone starts because blowing up. In this world we got twin enemies. Why take it like put you guys from Peru and he's... And I'm, yeah. Why have that head... Because I don't like how people look. Well, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look at how different I look. From we were, I, was fun, I was making yeah. fun of. I was making fun of myself. We were watching a video from years ago, and I'm like 65 pounds lighter, and I have like no facial hair. Now I'm like 180 pounds with a huge beard. That's <laughs> <laughs> so I'm, I'm bench pressing Buicks now and stuff because I lift all the time. Yeah, I think the real Grizzly out of the. Uh, Chester Baines. Oh, yeah, yeah. Guy, a guy that yeah. served with us in the IGR, yeah. man. Yeah. He, he makes my beard look like I'm, like, 12. I yeah. Have <laughs> no, it makes your beard look like you look like it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like I said, right here is proof that... All I got is pizza. <laughs> that no matter where you graduate right from, we all yeah. get the same thing and we can get along. We're getting along right now. What was, uh... How did I get off on the... Oh! I was, I was trying to figure out how I got off on the subject of, like, how did I get to this? See, how does this happen? <laughs> I was, talking about, right. I was talking <laughs> about Francis Slocum. That's what yeah. made me think. Because we have the ability. We filmed that in that whole epic adventure was like in 
a hundred yard area. We just kept going up and down a couple of hills and back around because it's all wooded area. We're just up and around yeah, the we, one trail. We weren't even in there very far. No, we were yeah, like right off the trail. Man. Yeah, the portal. Oh. Which the portal doesn't exist anymore. It's yeah. gone. It's oh, there's it's now gone. a permanent. It's the, permanent. Now it's a permanent them. structure. He had, the last time oh, he was man. out there. What now? There's a permanent structure out there. A permanent. They made our so. portal permanent. Yeah, there's there's movies that we filmed that's been out there. Yeah, we've done quite a few cryptic See, detectives. A bit of Slenderman was out there. Slenderman, yes, yeah. the Slenderwoods. Yeah, we're, when, I, when, yeah, that was great. When Will Last was, Man Standing. Yep. Yeah, yep. Um, let's see what else? We also filmed Last Man Standing out on, on the old bridge by Mexico. Chupa Yeti Squatch. Yeah, we filmed that out there. Chupa Yeti Squatch. We have a couple more films we're planning on going Yeah, yeah. see, the, and I have. It. We'll have to talk. We won't put this on video, but <laughs> there's some stuff that there's a place we're going to be able to film that's going to be pretty cool. Um, yeah. So he he showed us it, and it's awesome. We're we're we've reminisced about we've kind of done a, a just a round table talking about the history of Wolfpack Entertainment, what we've liked best, what we and you know we went through dry spells where it's been months at a time where we could make yeah. anything and, and people then people were subscribe to Wolfpack Entertainment for yeah, the best entertainment subscribe. yeah and make sure you click that notification bell too yeah so we so we, you don't miss out we we ran into issues where uh, I was I was really busy as far as a work schedule goes at one point and then I actually moved out of this area for for the better part of a year. And I moved back up north. Yeah, up. and so I, I've kind of been. So that kind of really hurt things. We went oh, through yeah. a transition of people being able to do anything, and um, so obviously back, which is a little over two years ago now. It's been about three years now when we did um, Slender Man. Well, it's been three years when we oh, did Slender Man. Yep. That was kind of when we started doing stuff again on a regular basis. Because right after Slender Man, we decided because it was so hard to do. The movies like we used to do. We wanted to do. Wingman and I wanted to do some shows, and mm. so we did yeah. a whole season or two of Wolf and Wingman Wednesday, which was just and what maybe maybe half a season of Fantastic Flick Friday. Yeah, yeah. We, where we just we spent every every Wednesday for like the better part of a year. We had a new video come out. It was just him and I. Playing a video game. Now we got the rest of Wolfpack Entertainment yeah, Family. Yeah, so now, now and that's that was a season and a half of Wolf and Wingman. That's right, yeah, because we got into Xbox with that. And, and it was when we was doing the Xbox games that we the viewers yeah the viewers did, start, everybody liked watching the NES stuff, but not as yeah, much. They the loved Xbox. all the retro games. Yeah, and so we stopped that, and then we did we did the Wizard. We did uh, let's see what did we do. We did the Wizard. We did Little Monsters. Or Little Monster, we did Home Alone. Um, I'm trying to think what else we did. I know we did at least those three movies that we well, did. Here for recently, Fantastic. we uh, we did Star Kid. We just did Star Kid for that. Yeah, for the for a Fantastic Flick, Wolfpack Entertainment movie review. So we did a bunch of How shows. How the Grinch Stole Christmas. How the Grinch Stole one. Christmas. That was the yeah. We did the Christmas special, and I've done a Still couple movie reviews. I did a movie review fun. for uh, Star. We did a movie review for The Last Jedi. Um, obviously, I did movie reviews for Batman vs. Superman and Justice League. I, I mean, yeah, I definitely like the look on his face in uh, the Christmas special. Yeah, when, he <laughs> when we spied those cookies. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> so, so we did a bunch of like those were easier to do, so we could still put out content. And but so that's what I want to talk about now is. Oh, by the way, Julie said uh, when she gets power, she will be on the uh, being extra as well. Yeah. So we've got that's that's what leads me into this whole thing is there's the four of us. That can do stuff all the time again, and plus we have uh, Julie that's been in some stuff with us. She was in Cryptid Detectives. She right. was the funny. Her and Greg, Greg her is her son. Greg played her son in the Cryptid Detectives movie. <laughs> yep. And so, so that, that we've got both of them uh, we're, uh, to do stuff. We're, also, we're in the, uh, tried to a Superman. She was in that too. Oh yeah, yeah. And we Legend did the Legendary, Legendary Dungeon Master. Dungeon Master. She, was she was in Legendary. Yep. Yeah, that, yeah. And so was right. Greg. So was Greg. Yeah. And so we've got, so that's, you know, six, seven. We, we got plenty of people to do what we want to do with stuff. Plus Dave. To entertain uh, all of you out there. Yeah, Dave Shuck is, is uh, hopefully going to be able to do some stuff with us. He's still in the area. He works third shift. He's just, it's hard. He's a hard man to get to do anything. So, but if we can get him in on some stuff, I'd like to just because it's, oh, yeah. I mean, he was a big part of Wolfpack Entertainment. Yep. So, um. One so what? Actors, yeah. Now going forward, we've done. We, we still want to do some shows. I still want to do like a Cryptid Detectives, where we're going to like 
legendary places in Indiana. I think that would be a cool show. But the reason we're making this video, not only to reminisce about uh, the last 10 years, and that's why this video is so long, because I want to talk <laughs> about the last 10 years, we are also been talking about, like Wingman and I discussed in the last news video, multiple different movies to do this year. We are going to go back to making hey, the, 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 the movies. What you guys are talking about, the first one, you want to make it one of the classic comedies. Yes, we're going to do, before our, you go and it's else. probably the first two, but the first one for sure, we're going to go back to the roots of Wolfpack Entertainment making the crazy, crazy comedy. The ad-lib comedy. Yeah, it's just, just start with the idea and then and just go. Work out from that. And so, now I'm going to talk about, I'm not going to talk about the second one, we'll just talk about the first one. Because the second one, um, It'll be after. It'll be in February, March, sometime. That we'll do that. We'll yeah, make that another be, video. That'll definitely be uh, a lot of fun. To yeah, and the, you guys are gonna really like what we're getting ready to do because we're <laughs> really getting back to doing some of the things Already we did. Do. So, and we did hint that uh, some characters would be making cameos. Yeah, there could be some cameos here coming up very shortly. So what we're gonna do? So it was ten years ago, January twenty third, two thousand nine. Okay, ten happy years ago. Happy anniversary, Wolfpack Entertainment. Yeah. Wolfpack Entertainment. Ten years. First movie. <laughs> what was the first movie that we put out? Batman and the, the recession. recession. So Batman and the Recession was the first movie that we put on the YouTube. Okay. So we were talking about I want to make a new. I want to get back to our roots, making those kind of movies, and we were talking about what do we want to do. And I had a couple ideas that we really liked, and we were really meaning towards doing one thing. Well, it's now been pushed back. Because I came to the conclusion the other night talking to these yeah, guys. Yeah, it's going to be like the second or third. Yeah, probably, this, probably yeah. the second one. I think I'll be the second one. We came to the conclusion that being 10-year anniversary, the first movie we did was Batman The Recession. So make it an uh, We have got to make another Batman movie. We That's have right. to make another Batman movie. And there was well, Peck does. a lot of white stuff on the ground back then. Yes. Guess hey, what? Hey, guess exactly. what? A lot of white There's stuff on the ground now. There's a blizzard outside. It's, so. it's like it was fate or something. Yeah. And so <laughs> we're being blessed. We're gonna have to for ten years. So what go. we're gonna do is <laughs> is we are going to um, we're gonna make another Batman parody, another Batman comedy, and parodies um, are good. I so want to tell you who's playing what characters, but I'm not going to because <laughs> I want you to be able to <laughs> no no spoilers. <laughs> but I, I want you to be able to see it when uh, when it happens because it's gonna be really good. But um, we will tell you, uh, we are not going to use a mainstream uh, villain, okay? So everybody thinks, because I've played the Joker so many times, I, I won't play the Joker anymore. He's tired of playing yeah, the, that, Joker the Joker because retired. people only see him as the Joker yeah. instead of other I'm characters. not doing the Joker anymore. So we're going with a completely obscure, off-the-wall villain. villain that. And I'm not even going to tell you who it is. I'm not going to tell you who it is. Although but some people may actually... Some of them will. If you're a Batman fan, you'll you'll recognize the villain and you'll laugh because it'll make it... That'll make it even King funnier. King Tut! For you. Yeah, King <laughs> Tut. Yeah. Yeah. It's not King <laughs> Tut, but that would be <laughs> awesome. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's not King Tut. Of course it's not. We're sorry. <laughs> those of you that love the Egyptian I just, I just, I just uh, culture or way of life or whatever... <laughs> It's not King Tut. You guys are gonna be totally, you're gonna be totally surprised by it, but you're gonna find it hilarious. Um, and we're creating uh, another character to be this guy's sidekick to help him out. A whole new character for that. So we're even adding our own spin on that. And the whole dynamic with with Batman is gonna be different. Um, Batman's character is just gonna be it's gonna be amazing. Like you guys, <laughs> it's going to be hilarious. Even, it's going to be great. Do we even give any kind of clue no. as to the way it is? No. Sorry. No. Uh, okay. It Sorry. wasn't Colonel I tried people. Mustard in the observatory with a knife. Yeah. It's going to be, <laughs> it's gonna be so funny, the, the, the way we're going to do that. Um, uh, and this is a silent oh, partner. He doesn't say much. For, for the, <laughs> yeah. And I will yeah. throw this out there. Uh, yeah, so just so we're clear, we have Jay and Silent. Will. Yeah, Jay and Silent Will. I never stop talking. Wolf and Silent Will. No, we got A and Silent Will. You know what I am going to do, though? I will tell Wolf you this. Silent. Just to give you, a, you a bit of a teaser, we we have not done this with the other two Batman movies. We are going to include Robin in some way in this movie. So, gotta have, you got to have but Robin, uh, Robin with Batman. Up, so, we're at, I, I will let you know we are going to use Robin in some capacity. And other surprises in this for, for all other viewers It's going to be really good. <laughs> and that's going to be, so the 10 year anniversary movie is going to be a an Batman all new movie. Batman movie um, with a crazy villain and an amazing take on Batman 
and it's just going to be awesome. I can't awesome wait. characters. I can't wait to make it. It's going to be hilarious. I can't either. We still have the basement. It could be the back cave. Heck yeah. Oh, exactly. So we can revamp. <laughs> we can revamp. That, that, we can revamp the back cave. <laughs> the basement of this house has been like a hundred different locations. Yes, it has. The God Cave of Gygax. Yeah. It's been the back. It's been the the lair for the tremendous three. <laughs> My gosh. <laughs> That's what you do when you're independent filmmakers. And then the second, then we're gonna make an after actual basement of the D and D place. Yeah, yeah, it was that. Yeah, it was the gaming. Yep. It's been so many things. It was the basement and out there at the table too. Yeah, yeah. We are Both gonna places. have. Uh, we'll have another movie after that. Will be another comedy. It'll be in the same vein of classic Wolfpack Entertainment okay. comedy. There, in the new Batman, there was gonna be a recurring character. Not said. A recurring. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. I, I also want to. Yeah. I, I also want to, uh, which we've already talked about this in other videos, but because we were talking about at least two movies that are going to be comedy, um, and then a couple more, uh, I, I want to, I want to do something with a, an epic adventure because, um, and I don't mind bringing that up because I would love to make a sequel to an epic adventure. Epic adventure and I have, too. I have a great story. Well, epic we've adventure. Got a title for that. And I even know. more epic adventure. I have a great yeah. idea for We've been putting that. it on the back burner for a while. Yeah, because I, I want to do these other couple movies first, but um, I, I like the idea for the for the the sequel to Epic Adventure is gonna be it's gonna be really good. It's gonna be funny. I like I have that story pretty much figured out. So and I was talking to them about it uh, the other day of what we want to do with that. So um, and something else that we've actually been talking about is uh, web series. Yeah, we actually had two in mind. If I'm not mistaken. What were the two? I forget. Crypto Detective. Well, Crypto Detective. Yeah, Crypto Detective. Yeah. But we already mentioned, you know, the other one a while back, and we actually started filming the first episode of that. But oh, the fan series. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Let's just talk about it real quick because I talked about Will and I talked about it a little bit back uh, in the fall um, when we talked about Crypto Detectives being something we want to do. That's, Crypto Detectives is, that's going to happen. That's a show that's going to happen, and it's going to be kind of like, um, it's going to be kind of like Destination Truth or something like that, where we're, we're going and visiting these cool historic and, and, and haunted, haunted places, places and stuff, and like, just telling the story about it. Here's our guidebook for that. Yeah. That's the guidebook. That, that's going to be cool, but the Doctor Who thing, I still want to make that, and I have a bunch of really good ideas and we will make that series. That series will happen. Um, awesome. But we ran into the. I, I told you I had busted my leg, and then um, we lost the ability to have a couple people film that we thought we were going to film, and so we had we had to change what we were doing. It's, and with that, also I didn't have the TARDIS that I wanted. I didn't have. There was a bunch of stuff that it just wasn't going to be good enough. Like I didn't think it was going to be good enough. And so if I'm going to make a Doctor Who fan series. It's so, got to be fantastic. It yeah. has to be good. I don't want to be the bad guy. Yeah, he doesn't want to be a bad I, guy. I hate being bad guys. With me, it doesn't matter. I like making him a bad guy. <laughs> I know. And I do actually, actually have it's about 50-50. He at least started out like as a bad guy, and he's been yeah. pretty much good guy since. I know at least two or three people that are, that are Whovians yeah. as well. So, yes. And they're they're willing to help out. Yeah. I, 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 I can do... i got to get into watching some of those series. Which, with the I green watch old, old series, the 60s. Series. Yeah, I, I see. I still I love the new incarnation stuff. Excluding the last couple seasons, we're not going to talk about that. Okay, but uh, enough said. The, the, the tenth, as great man standing would say, why. the enough ninth said. The ninth, tenth, and eleventh Doctors, great. Twelve and thirteen, not real happy with. But anyway, uh, that was part of that was bad writing. But yeah. the originals with like Tom Baker, the fourth Doctor. Oh, I, I love yeah, I love Peter. Uh, uh, oh shoot, Troughton. Troughton was awesome. The second Doctor, like the uh, John Pertwee, the third Doctor. There, those were those. I love those classical, and I like watching like the Cybermen evolve uh, and, uh, and stuff. Yeah. And also, Wolfpack, great people. We still got to think of Stanley, who passed a great man who did Marvel. Oh yeah, Stan. Years. Yep, Stanley. He is yeah, totally missed. That, that's one of those things where like he felt like one of them guys that was like never gonna die. He was like it felt like Stan Lee. I think I put a tribute thing on Wolfpack Entertainment when when he passed away. So if if mm -hmm. they put a, a tribute to Stan Lee, then you know that we're true to heart for heroes and every other kind of movie. I I, I wish that uh, and series by the way. 
I wish that I had an opportunity. I that was one of the people that I didn't ever go to a show, a comic book show that he was at. I never did. I, I, was, I always wanted. I to. never did. I always did. wanted to be the yeah, too. I didn't get that. I've met so I many people. I wanted to go to one so bad. The only thing that the only thing is, I was willing him to go and I, bankrupt just go. Him meet. and I t- completely disagreed on the fact that he didn't like Superman. Obviously, he like did not. Yes, like I Superman. did not like Superman at all. Because <laughs> neither of did Stan Lee. Stan Lee talked junk about Superman. Right. I didn't like him for the longest time right. because of that. Obviously, Thanks to Adam, he <laughs> explained it to me. Yeah, yeah. So now I have no problem with him. Yeah. But I still gotta say, my favorite is Supergirl. Not said. Yeah. And Wonder Woman. Not said. Well, my daughter is <laughs> named after Supergirl. Yeah. So, but, but we we've got we've got a ton. Of, I better get ready to close this video. We I'm I'm glad you guys have been here. This was a good a good chance to talk about Wolfpack Entertainment over the last ten years. What we're getting ready to do. This video is going to take me like five hours to put together, so it'll be, it's going to be a lot of work. Nah, well, well, likely, I don't think you'll have to really edit anything. I'll just let no. it go. I'll just yeah. Let, yeah, I'll just let it go. So, Because uh, all this is just talking and it's like an interview, like you said. What, uh, so my last question, we're going to close it out with this, is what are you looking forward to for 2019? What, for Wolfpack Entertainment, what are you looking forward to? New movies or the series or just making stuff again? All of the above. All of the above. <laughs> What do you think? And staying a good guy. Yeah. <laughs> Two things. Just making stuff. And I'm looking forward to the Batman. Yeah, the Batman is going to be so good. It's going to be good. <clears throat> I'm going to go with all the above. All the above? That's right. Yep. Just hanging out. That's right. Yep. Filming. I'm just having a blast. I'm, I'm definitely... I definitely can't wait for that second <laughs> The movie. second movie? Yeah, that's going to really surprise people. The second movie is going to really... Surprise. I can't wait the to first, get The back Batman more. movie is everybody is going to love, and they're going to laugh their butts off. And then we're going to bust out the movie following that, and you're all going to crap yourselves because you're not <laughs> expecting it. Any of it. Yeah, I, 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 I want to get back into yeah. making movies because uh, yeah. I did the role pets yeah. off. Or one of the characters. Entertainment's off. Uh, yeah. Excellent mm-hmm. entertainment. Exactly. Yeah. They entertain it so, for a dark, gloomy world so that there's, it's not all dark and gloomy. Yep. So we're going to get ready to, to close it out. Um, I'll be sure to make Stan a villain every movie. That I, possibly, that I possibly can. No, so, so from Wolfpack Entertainment, obviously I'm the Wolf. Samurai Stand is one of my characters. Samurai Stand. Redella Special Blitz. Redella Special Blitz. That's hilarious. And, and Wingman. 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 Until the next video, we will see you guys. We love you. Later.